kwingineko mwaniaji huru kwa tiketi ya mwaniaji huru Japheth Kavinga Kaluyo amekubali kushindwa kwenye uchaguzi wa hapo jana akisema amekubali maamuzi ya wa Kenya akizungumza katika ukumbi wa Bomas Kaluyo amepongeza wagombea wenzake kwenye kinyanganyiro hicho cha urais huko pia kipongeza maandalizi bora ya kura kutoka kwa tume ya uchaguzi IBC Japheth Kavinga Kaluyo the presidential candidate independent and I'm here with my vice president, you already know him, Mr. Muthiora Kariara. Uh, we definitely have come to a close of an important election. And uh, we have decided to assess the situation and uh, we want to make a few comments. First, we want to thank you know, your coverage, you have given us the platform to be able to tell our people, uh, the Kenyan people, our plans, the six-point plan that we have spoken about constantly and how we were ready to, uh, to help the Kenyan people. We started this long time ago, and uh, finally yesterday, people made their voices heard. And we are very excited for uh, our supporters. We want to thank them so much across the country. When we looked at every corner of Kenya, every county, we garnered some votes for the first timers to get over 10,000 and still more coming, I would say it's very commendable. People, we definitely were not the last and people listened to us. We had issues. It shows this time, I haven't seen any presidential candidate so far who has less than 10, but it means people, Kenyan people are ready to listen to issues, not uh, just supporting people because you just want to support them. We also want to, uh, to, to thank the IEBC for doing a lot of preparation and bringing this election to a close in a peaceful way. I voted yesterday, I visited a couple of uh, polling stations as well, and we had a very orderly uh, system, at least the system is in place, and today uh, it is very peaceful on the roads, and uh, I have seen other elections before, but I would say this one was very calm. So we also want to thank the Interior uh, Honorable Matiangi for definitely uh, <laughs> putting a, place, a system in place where we can go on peacefully. Now it comes to us. We have decided to assess the situation again and come to a conclusion of how we move forward. We are candidates who we were very decisive, we were very clear, we were very targeted to what we wanted to do. And our leadership wasn't just leadership uh, till the end of August 8th. We have seen the figures. For us to come from 10,000 to 7 million, it is going to be uh, a long night. And I don't think it's going to be that long accommodating, accommodating uh, another 7 million. So we are here to say that uh, uh, given the figures, the way they look like, if they stay the, the way they look like and nothing else, we are going to take to draw the first blood and we concede. Uh